Welcome back to Ron and Shonda's TV show. Some of you will probably remember that that's what our mom calls our YouTube channel and she tells all of her friends to watch. So we recently shared this and this is Shonda's side porch decorated for the fall. Well today we're at my house. And I guess I'll call my area a side porch. It is outside of what is now my new sunroom. This area that you see here, this building, this part of the house used to be a carport and we closed it in and I have a beautiful new sunroom. So we've been in the house now, December will be two years and I have never really done anything with this area as far as making it comfortable and decorating it a little bit. And so now that it is cooling off just a little bit here in Georgia, I thought that it was about time for me to get out here and to address this area. Friends of the Twins, you may not know it, but Shonda and I, we both love, we love being outside, working in the yard, whether it be planting flowers or doing little DIY projects, things like that. We love a beautiful home inside, but we also love for the outside to be, home, you know, to be beautiful also. It's just a good feeling when you, you know, drive up and the yard is manicured and things like that. And my husband, he was taught by his uncle to always be a good neighbor. And so for us, being a good neighbor means keeping up the maintenance of the outside as well as the inside of our home. And so this day, I got Shuggy here. He is helping me. He's going to go ahead and get this area blown. My vision for this sitting area is to have a comfortable and cozy, y'all know I love those words, comfy and cozy little area for us to come outside as I anticipate cooler weather. You know, we can just come outside and have a seat and then this side of the house faces the woods if you're looking straight ahead. And so I do anticipate seeing the deer hanging around and just having a nice little area to relax in. And you may have noticed that I have two of these black and white outdoor rugs. Well, this one, the larger of the two, I picked up at a thrift store. I paid $20 for it and it is reversible. Outdoor rugs can be expensive. So I was very happy to pick this one up and it is in the colors that I am embracing right now. Y'all have heard me talk about the black and the white. I need to give my outdoor furniture a little refresh, so I'm gonna be using the Bare Premium Black Spray Paint, and it is in a gloss finish. It is for indoor and outdoor, and it gives a beautiful, shiny finish, which is exactly what I wanted. And so I've had this furniture for a number of years. If I had to guess, I would say seven, six, seven years. I got it from Wayfair. And I must say it has held up pretty well over the years. It didn't really even start to rust until I went into year three, maybe year two, year three with it. But I still love it. And so I'm just gonna give it a little refresh here with a new coat of paint. And I do this every year. The, you know, I, I do feel like, well, I know for a fact, this first year that we've been here in the house, I've been focused mainly on the interior. And so as we go into the second year, really with the start of 2023, I knew that I would take time and start to focus on the outside of the house also. And as you can see, all three pieces had kind of taken a beating, but look how beautiful it looks with this bare gloss black paint. I love it. I. I always use this as kind of my go-to ever since I discovered it. And no, Bear is not paying me. I wish they were paying me to say that, but this is something that I really and truly love. So after drying time, this is what I have so far. And now I'm gonna bring in my welcome sign. I picked this up last year at a fall festival. I don't know if any of you've ever been to the Cotton Picking Fair here in Georgia. It is in a town called Gay, Georgia. And so that's where I picked this up last year. I paid $40 for it and I thought that was a pretty good price. It is huge 
and I think that this is just the perfect place for it. I had it sitting on the other side of the door and it never really was a good fit but like I said I hadn't really decorated this area and so when I placed it here even Shuggy made a comment about how much he liked it there in that place and now friends of the twins y'all don't know it he doesn't really say much so when he speaks up you know you've done a good thing if sugar has something to say and next i'm just going to take my dollar tree ribbon now this ribbon is glittery glossy shiny but friends of the twins i love it i typically use it every year i have for a couple of years here and now if if i don't use it at my house then i'll use it at mom's house but i like this shiny pretty orange ribbon and so today i need to dress up miss fancy pants and i don't even know if y'all noticed her but that is my rooster that i got from i believe it was hobby lobby a number of years ago she is a little bit worn and weathered because i have used her outside i even had her outside on my porch at my other house and i know i know roosters are males but my rooster is a girl okay and so i am just going to make her a little bit of jewelry for her neck and now all that's left to do is to add the wreath to the door. This is a wreath that I made a couple of years ago. And all I did this year was add the black and white check ribbon. Friends of the Twins, this outdoor living space is exactly what I wanted it to be. I'm loving the boldness of the black and white. And black and white is just so transitional. Like for the upcoming holidays throughout, of course, Thanksgiving. And then as we go into Christmas, I will be leaving the black and white here. I'll just change out like the wreath and maybe add some pillows and speaking of pillows i'm on the lookout for me some black and white outdoor pillows i could order them but if i run into them in a store that would be even better I, then i don't have to wait but i would will be looking for me some outdoor pillows and now this black and white rug here at the door i got this one from pop shelf it was earlier in the summer and it was 12 dollars some of you may recognize those scarecrows I have stuck down inside those ferns. Those came with some mums that I bought last year. Of course, you paid a little bit more for the mums, but of course the scarecrows I can continue to use year after year. Two months ago, I shared with you three DIY projects that Shuggy and I completed here in the yard, and I'll leave that complete video down in the description box for you. Well, Today I'm going to share with you the updates we made coming up to those planters that we added on each side of the driveway. I stood back and I looked at it and I just wanted to add a little bit more depth and dimension to it. And so we got busy kind of digging out and grading this area and eventually I would love to take it on up to the gate. But we're going to take our time. Like I said, this Georgia heat has been no joke. So we haven't been in any hurry. And I want to take a minute and say a very special thank you. And to let my sugar know how much I love him. Y'all, I am a person who is very creative. And I don't know, you know, that can probably be difficult. Maybe uh, sometimes for people that live with you. My mind goes a mile a minute. I always have something that I could be doing or want to do and he is always so supportive of me. Now the older that we get the more patient and tolerable he is with me and I want my sugar to know how much I appreciate that and I appreciate all of his hard work. And when he's out in the yard with his cowboy hat on, mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, getting sidetracked, getting sidetracked, Rhonda. But here I'm sharing with you, we went to a concrete supply yard and we got a 
I, it would probably be what they would call a ton or maybe a half a ton of those landscaping rocks and friends it is cheaper for you to go to a concrete or you know to a supply yard versus going buying bag by bag at the home depot i believe that that truckload of rocks costs us thirty dollars or thirty two dollars something like that and i don't think that we could have done any better by going to one of the big box stores and so we've gotten it all cleared out we've gotten it graded and now we're just going to go in with the garden fabric liner and get it placed and this was really easy you know this diy took us we had it all done in one one day you know and it took us a day because I had mentioned earlier that it is so hot and it's been so hot here in Georgia this summer that Sugar and I will come out at different intervals throughout the day and work on projects that we have, you know, so we may come out and we stay out. Now me, I'm out there maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then I got to go back in the house. Sugar is a little bit more tolerant of the heat, but I also make sure that he is hydrated and I and like the mother hen and don't let him stay out too long so then we'll come in and we'll take a break and then we'll go back out so one day that was all it took and we had this done the cost was very minimal i picked up the fabric liner at ollie's and it was twelve dollars and you got something like a hundred feet for twelve dollars and then like i told you the rocks were about thirty dollars so for less than fifty dollars we had this diy project this landscaping project completed and it really added to the yard i'm really excited about the direction that we're going in with the landscaping and the fact that we're doing it all by ourselves and here is what it's looking like i tell you my favorite well it's hard for me to choose our favorite diy project but i will say that these two little gardens that we added on either side of the driveway really did change it was just a game changer here in the yard and it was something that was really simple my flowers are be growing in beautifully i love that beautiful fuchsia color and now let me introduce you to someone special this is rinky she's standing here to greet all of our guests as they come into the yard and then over on this side you all i want you to meet suggy he's on deck too to help greet all of our guests the flowers have just been growing in beautifully i love that punch of color and then as far as a fall decorations that i've used here everything here with the exception of the bells of hay and the scarecrows i already had now my little sister shinky she has beautifully melanated scarecrows and i'm going to be taking a tip from her and i will be doing the same if you want to see her process and how she does it the video will be linked below friends you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.